So everybody just experienced the entire Diablo 4 wide XP nerf. That was real disappointing. I know a lot of the uh, lower level characters are defending it, saying it's good and la la la. But y'all, to be honest with you, if you are level 80 and you're trying to get to that mystical 100 to be one of those guys, you have already completed everything that you need to complete. So you've already done the campaign. You've already done all this stuff. It really doesn't matter. Let us farm for experience. So I think I found a solution that will grant you massive amounts of gold, pretty good amount of XP, good density, and good, good drops. Let's check it out. All right, how about it, y'all? You got hog. Thanks for stopping by. So two areas on the map that you want to go to. And I hate to break y'all's heart for those that don't want to do it, but it's the PVP zones. So this one right here, and this one right here, I like this bottom one here, gonna have to go there. And I know a lot of y'all right now are gonna say, Hog, we don't wanna go to PVP, we hate PVP, la la la. Let me tell you why it's awesome. First of all, you don't have to be blood marked, which means you attack and you can be attacked by other players. You don't have to be blood marked to go into PVP zone Diablo 4, okay? You can go out here and start farming these mobs. A lot of them are spiders. Spiders are really good. When you kill one of the host type deals, they explode other spiders. You can just keep moving all around the zone. They respawn all the time. It's very, very nice density. It's very, very nice experience. Now, if you do encounter another player that ain't blood marked, he can attack you. So you have to be careful. It kind of gives a, an extra edge to the gameplay. You want to make sure that you're watching your back at all times. You can run across other friendly players that will actually help you you just have to keep in mind about your shards of hatred. You want to pick those up because those are for everybody to drop. Now, look at the density. We've got tons of elites that come here. we got tons of champions that come here. you got kind of a little um, walking abomination, they call it, that he drops really good stuff. I found ancestral out the ass in this place, and I found pretty good ancestral legendary drops. So the other plus to it is the seeds. If you're tactical enough and you're lucky enough and you don't get killed, you can keep purifying these seeds and doing the sacrifice at the altar. And you can actually stockpile those up and gamble those or spend them on horse cosmetics or armor or whatever you choose, okay? But as you see, it drops a ton of gold, drops a pretty good amount of yellows. So you can walk around. Uh, if you're scared of PVP, you can actually just walk around the outside of the map. That is a viable option. And uh, players are usually roaming around the inside, so you can skirt the outskirts and try to stay alive and not get killed by players. But again, your goal here is items, gold, experience. Those don't matter if you get killed by a player, okay? You're also not going to take a durability loss if you get killed by a player. So don't let it frustrate you too bad. Don't worry about it. You can always re-instance and try to get into a different PvP zone. But as of right now, this is the best way that we're finding to get experience. I gained... Uh, probably a quarter of an experience bar at level 82 uh, just by messing around with this for about an hour and a half last night so pretty good experience i haven't sat down and done the math numbers but the density is there that's what we've been looking for the item drops are there that's what we've been looking for the challenge is there so we've been looking for so it's got everything that we need go ahead and farm that at least until they nerf the experience on this and just take away the fun altogether. So speaking of PvP, if you're interested in joining a PvP league, we're actually working on that right now. We're setting up some technical stuff. We've got a kind of, what do they call that, eSports tournament platform that I'm setting stuff up on. We're going to have a point system, a leaderboard, and different classes for different levels, etc., etc. One versus one, two versus two, versus two clan versus clan, all that. So I uh, highly recommend you join my Discord, the House of Hog. We ain't mild, we wild. Links in the description below. Even if you're not interested in doing the PvP, there's build guides, there's communities, there's all kind of stuff over in the Discord. There is no mechanic to kind of get into group play with this game, so that will help you if you're looking for a group. Come on over, at least introduce yourself, get to know a couple people a few times before just jumping straight in the Discord and being like, hey, somebody rush me. Uh, that's always advised. We have a really nice, neat, cool community of all people from all walks of life over there. So anyway, hit like and subscribe for more Diablo 4 content. Big shout out to my sponsor, MMOM, if you're struggling. And look here, we'll see you next time. Appreciate y'all.